Five of the six finalists representing Australia out here at X Games Sydney. And there you see a look at our start list. Steve Minnie will be kicking things off. And of course, Jared McNeil trying to earn that fourth best whip gold medal will be anchoring this group. And we actually had a look at the scores there too that got him through. Jared was a clear two points ahead of Axel. And then in third was Corey Creed. He was another two or three points down, but he, I know he has a huge whip, but I'm pretty sure he only threw turn downs out there. But uh, he obviously has a bit more in the tank. So I mean, this could get interesting. But to how about this guy, Steve Mini, one of the most handsome men in, in FMX. <laughs> Check him out from just down the road in Mudgee. Turning that thing backwards. I think he's got a little bit more, Steve. A little bit more there, and we'll soon see if a, uh, having a regular whip style is going to is going to um i think you're going to have to get that thing a little bit more bent mate so we move on to lance russell here in our six minute final all right boys they had to earn their way in lance. how much more can they have in their tank at this point to shake it up it's it's balls to the wall now like you have to throw it down as hard oh. as you can and you can see lance is trying as hard as he can to get it fully whipped turn the bars around so it looks even bigger but you can see that's causing the front end to dive and he's landing in that soft spot so he's put it all on the line he's on the edge six x games medals for josh sheehan from three different disciplines not one of them though whip oh and that's one of the biggest whips i think shane do so it's he, good he's fired up he wants the medal in this event he's never medaled in it i think he's been in it three or four times we're going to check out a replay of that right now that is huge. You can see, always better to see the whip from the underside, but even looks huge on that one. You can see how high the back wheels were, back and front wheel was in that. Personally, I love a uh, seat bounce whip. That's my favorite style. I think that takes the most skill, and it's good to um, see. So here we go. Big Corey Creed. Can he turn that thing around? Oh, whoa. Oh, I tell that's you getting, what. that hole is getting nasty. I, yeah, it's, it sucks for those guys. They are throwing it all on the line that they have to land in that bog spot every time, which is so risky, but it's risk over reward now. Do you want a gold medal? you got to send it. Here is Axel Hodges. He has a silver medal in this event, five X Games medals total, trying to find the top spot for the first time ever here in Best Whip. Huge whip. Landing smooth too. I mean, I'm not sure how much they're going to judge on smoothness of landing, but we're going to check out a replay of that. Massively upside down. You see him turning the bars early through the whip there, almost turning turning it backwards. Landing long at the bottom, but I mean, that's... I'm going to go ahead and say that that long landing was to get past the bog hole. Yeah, get past the bog hole and also give yourself more air time. Here we go. The man's, they're just the, the favourite. The man's the Oh my goodness. I'm gonna say that was probably the biggest one we've seen in the contest too far. Jared's got awesome bike skills, grew up racing, Australian motocross champion, and uh, you show him right there, but here we go, Steve Minnie, the man from Mudgy. Holding that thing on the limiter. Someone get that guy a new set of valves. He turned that thing around. Huge. How impressed are you guys with the whip so far, given the conditions, all the rain we saw here yesterday on this course? I mean, definitely, like, the rain, the limited practice time, the sketchiness of the landing, and you can see the guys how far, I don't know if you can see it, how far they have to ride around. See Lance Russell going huge there. How far they have to ride around the back of the circuit to keep the mud off the tyres, because obviously when you whip, you're carving off the ramp. You're hanging on by the edge of the knobs on the side of the wheel. If you've got any sort of moisture and mud on there, that thing will wheel spin and slide off the ramp and... Game over. Splat. Shaney wants it. You can tell Shaney, he's throwing that thing. Shaney wants, he, he wants to be on the podium. He definitely wants to be on the podium. This guy, Corey Creed, coming up next. I mean, like I said, full-time stunt driver on the Gold Coast, so he knows how to use a handbrake to get a car sideways, but he's definitely got the skills to throw that motorcycle sideways. I think he played it a little safer then than the last one. Obviously, with that hole he seems to be landing in, and uh, just wanted to get the bike straight, but still a huge turn down from Corey there. Axel, I think we're going to have a turn up this time around. He wants some love from the crowd. I mean, it's going to be tough for you, mate. You are the only American in the field. Oh. 
huge oh. turn up. And I'm going to say he's one of the only riders out there really throwing the huge turn up. So that adds to variety. Here's the question. Is Jared McNeil going to, to do a different style of whip this time? I'd now? like to see him do a turn down. I think that's what he needs to do to help his chances in the overall impression. But sticking with the whip. Oh, my goodness. I mean, maybe maybe we got the wrong info. Is it overall impression or single biggest? But check that out, right. Jared. As we said, it is overall impression, not just one single whip. Jared McNeil trying to jump past Twitch into the history books and get that fourth best whip gold medal. There he is back again, Steve Minnie. Making his X Games debut, qualifying into the final. Here's Steve Minnie with a minute left. The Maji Mad Dog absolutely killing it. One of the best freestyle riders in Australia too, has more combos than KFC, but just in, in whip today. There it is, look at that thing completely backwards. Check it out, the hot dogs then. Saying what's up to the home for Kung fans in Sydney. Good on you, Steve. So we move on to Lance Russell. As you can see, holding his chest there, he took a big crash in practice yesterday. Actually cracked some ribs, so he's doing a solid effort even just to be out there. Throwing the whip, throwing it down. I think he, yeah, yeah, he's, he's feeling uh, it. You can see arched over like that. I mean, it's hard to even see, sneeze when you've uh, got cracked ribs. So uh, he's doing a stellar job to be out there. But you know what? It's X Games. You've got to put the pain aside. Here we go, the unicorn. Throwing some oh. huge whips. Landing long, but as you said, Jack, I think that's to avoid that soft spot. And was that the buzzer? No. Nope. Yes. Two, two more runs to We're go. We're being told two more runs. That was just a random beep that come through my headset in the booth here. I didn't know if that was the buzzer or not, but we do have two more runs to go. There's Corey Creed. On the limit of the whole way, landing smooth. That was that was awesome. Doing it for the Gold Coast. Just come <laughs> off, coming off a third place in the Nitro World Games quarter pipe high air. Went huge there. That was his first time, first time in the event, first time competing in an international competition. And uh, things, yeah, things are really looking up for Corey. But Axel. Axel Hodges, he's shown a lot of variety so far here today, guys. Oh, he stole the bike, pressure's on him. It must be being the only American out there. He's starting <laughs> to feel it. Let's not forget a dislocated shoulder just three days ago. Yeah, I don't think he was feeling that one. He, he knew he was going long, so he kind of pulled out a pulled, pulled out a committing to the whip early. You see there, he's on the way up, and he spots that he's going too long, and, yeah, that's definitely not one of Axel's biggest whips. He wasn't feeling it from the moment. Maybe the shoulder's starting to get sore. Maybe that's affecting him. But here he is, the gold medal man, Jared McNeil. He has seven best whip medals. This will be the last run of the contest. What's he got? Oh. Oh. I mean, that was the biggest whip in hands down ever. He wants, never he wants to hear the love. He's getting love. Jared McNeil saving his absolute best for last. Jacko claiming the best that's ever been done. And look at that point. It looks like almost, if you pause that, it looked like he'd be doing a backflip. The, the both wheels are completely above him. His head's the lowest point in the jump. And so completely upside down. The little fella, I tell you what, I don't know how you do it, Jared. So to th those little chicken wing arms of yours, you throw that 250 around like it's nothing. Again, the smallest guy out here, barely 123 pounds, soaking wet, and yet he throws that bike around better than anybody. Yeah, he knows. He just shows that it's technique more than anything else. All right, now it, it's come to the time where we're going to have to see what the judges think. What do you, if you had to pick, Bilko, where would, where would everyone sit? I mean, if it's overall impression, I'm surprised Jared didn't do any turndowns, but I'm his pretty... whips were huge. So, I'm, I mean, Jared's obviously got the biggest whip out there. I'd say he's going to take another gold medal. Yep, 100%. And I think we might see Josh Sheen. Josh Sheen, on for the sure. And, uh, I mean, that's what it comes down to. Is it overall impression? Because Corey Creed had three huge turndowns. Sheeny had three huge whips. Axel had a turn up. A huge whip. His last one wasn't the biggest, but, and you know, overall, if uh, 
Uh, it's, it's tough to say. Yeah, Axel, if he could get that last one back, it would have been interesting to see what he could have put down. For but sure. his first two were terrific. Let's head down to Mitch, who's out on the course. Josh, first up, five Aussies in the final. Now, that's pretty unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, Lance Russell's first time, and I think Steve Minnie's first, but yeah, everyone's killing it. Everyone's riding so well, and Brooksy and the crew have done such a good job to deal with this track, deal with the rain. So thank you all for coming. You've made a, a one hell of a show. So yeah, still a bit more to go, but yeah, I'm happy. Now, Bilko and the boys in the booth, that you guys can't see it going absolutely nuts. Now to the left of me, Lance, now this is your debut. Someone's unfortunate accident. Hey, it's you, you're here, you're in front of the home crowd. How does it feel? It's amazing. I just, uh, I can't even show how appreciative I am just to be here. I'm just soaking it all up and uh, got my family out here, got everyone watching back on TV back at home. And it's just, it's unbelievable. Let's make some noise for a stellar display of FMX, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's only fitting that it would be an Aussie invasion here at X Games Sydney. What's our podium look like? We find out right now. And there you have it, Jared McNeil with another gold medal, Corey Creed with the silver, and Axel Hodges earning bronze. How about that? Corey Creed with the silver medal. Mate, that is huge for Corey Creed. Axel taking home, I think that's his second bronze in this, in this event. But Jared McNeil, I think, yeah, he dominated that. What can you say? There he is. He's stoked. He's you just entered the history books. Yes, he has.